All right, for my sanity, I need to put this in, all right? Should have been up here, but the previous owner um, took it out. From what I was told, he actually has another bumper, right? This is his backup bumper. So what I wanna do is I'm gonna take this bumper apart. The first thing is to take out this. As you can see, it's nothing special. Ideally, there should have been um, the plastic thingies over here to hold it in place. Here, there isn't. So what that means, of course, I can just pick this up and pull it out. I just gotta do it carefully so I don't damage it, right? But there it is. And then the lever. So that's one piece, right? And then very similar to my Boxster, one, two. On the sides, both sides, you'll see these little plastic thingy. And then last but not least, they're actually um, Phillips underneath. See it? One, two, three. And let me check the other sides um, and we'll go from there, all right? I forget to mention, on both sides, pop these out, all right? So that way it doesn't get snagged on the way. And as you can see, there are screws. There's at least one screw. So let me take this out. I'm hoping with me taking this out and taking everything else out, um, maybe I can tilt it down a little bit, but I'll probably try to take it all out altogether because it's just so much easier to work with that way. All right. Okay, with a little bit of encouragement, as you can see, it comes right out underneath, hook to the side, and voila. So here are the two spots that I, we're talking about here, right? So all I need to do is take this bolt out, slap it on here, right, and lock it down. As a reminder, before you lock it in, okay, make sure the, uh, um, the toe hook is on this side. If you flip it upside down, it's gonna be funky because you're gonna have to screw yourself up, which is odd enough, but then that's gonna be on that side, which is useless unless you wanna drill a hole through your uh, bumper, okay? Just remember this side. Now all I need to do is reverse the process by putting the bumper back in, lock everything down, and I should be good. At least if I, God forbid, if I ever had a head-on collision, this is gonna protect me or else that's just gonna crumple right into me, all right? As always, guys and gals, be safe. There you have it, everything is back in. Everything looks good, and I've got safety, so form and functionality. Love it. All right, one of the benefits of working on my uh, Porsche Boxster is I bought a bunch of these, and guess what? They fit perfectly. That means when the car is going, and if there's any wind into here, this thing is not going to shake as crazy as, as it would if nothing is locking it down. So, win-win. Cool.